How's it going, YouTubers? Uh, back with another sugar-free review. Got a... Mm, maybe I've done a video on an AM8 before. Can't remember. They're kind of enough. It's easy to forget about. But this is the AM8 Morad 2. Um, these are made by Megaron. Sold on Megaron's website. But I'm not sure if it's like his buddy, business partner, or whatever. Don't really know the whole story. But this was $180 originally, and at the time of upload, they were $136 on Amazon. Solid price. Got a 3.5 inch S90V blade, drop point, sandblasted finish. It says the HRC 59 to 61, but that's really just more like. 59 at best or at least that's what I've seen a few from LTK test at So yeah, not the best heat treat from them, but if you're getting the knife on a good deal, I think it's okay But definitely wouldn't pay full price for one Got a 3.2 millimeter blade stock or 0.12 inches You got a nice crown spine I uh, would test the edge out, but this is a loner. It's been used. It's got some nicks and dings on it. It's so definitely not the same factory edge. It's got an overall length of 8.07 inches. So full size, at least in my opinion. Let's do some size comparisons. Bigger on Valona, just picked up. Still need to review. About the same length. And the only Megaron that stays in my collection, the Kyrix, the OG one, a little bit smaller. Got the Kaiser Militaire, same length, pretty much. Kind of Padre. Basically, exactly the same. A bit more expensive, though. About double. Got a 4.5 inch handle, 0.48 inches wide. And you want to hear a joke? The brand's name is AM8, but they use T6s. It's kind of funny. Um, which, and it's also kind of weird because Megaron uses T8s on everything. I guess they saved the T8s for them and use the T6s on their buddies' projects. Yeah. 3.9 ounces. I uh, do see weight relief on the inside. I guess you call this weight relief too. A little carbon fiber insert. Uh, you got a titanium clip that is not deep carry. Also, not a whole lot of room underneath. I didn't have any real problems putting it in the pocket, but it could be better for sure. But that seems to be a common problem with Megarons, at least on the titanium models. And the handle. Yep, nice milling lines and carbon fiber insert that sticks up a little bit. Backside does not match. Yeah, love the milling. Always love to see that on titanium knives. And this is a frame lock. Good access, good action. Your deployment methods, you got your front flipper, works very well, and your fuller, it's on both sides, nice reverse flick, detent is a little light, but not, not horrible, comes with a titanium backspacer, no lanyard hole, don't need those anyway. And you do have a 
pretty good shark and chill and you're gonna need it <laughs> uh dislikes on this knife um not the t6s i mean how can you use t6s if your name's am8 that's just that's a crime um also blasted blades do not go on premium knives they just don't um of course, would love to see the lock cut out on the inside and better pocket clip more towards the rear, a little bit more room underneath. Yeah, cool knife. Love the crown spawn, love the milling. Uh, taking the heat tree out of mind. Uh, yeah, good knife for the price. Yeah. You can definitely tell it's a mega on though. Um, I will have this knife linked down below if you want to pick one up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like and a comment and I will see you on the next one.